This episode is brought to you by, now I'm just playing, was popping, business talk. Now I get these questions a lot. What's an S Corp? What's a C Corp? What's the difference? I'm gonna sprinkle some quick gems on you today. Raw words with Levi style. Mm-hmm. S Corporations, also known as subchapters, refers to a type of corporation that meets specific international revenue code requirements. Ooh, I'm gonna break it down to you. An S Corporation can have 100 shareholders or less, meaning you could have 100 people a part of your shit, which gives you the benefit of being a corporation, but being taxed as a partnership, meaning these other people share the taxes. As an S corporation, you can spread the income, losses, deductions, credit, all that stuff. Spread your fill. That way you don't have to take on all the responsibility. And by passing income to your shareholders, it helps you avoid double taxation. We'll talk about that later. Now, C Corps. This is the type of corporation where the owner and business are taxed separately. It's like a whole other person because the profits are being taxed on the business standpoint and on a personal standpoint. So think of it like this. The business is making all this money. Boom. Tax time comes around. Time to pay up. Nope, it ain't over yet. You got paid too, right? And boom, you get taxed. Dang, that sucks. It just got taxed for all that money. Now it's gonna get taxed for the same money that it gave me? That's some bull. Which leads me to double taxation. From what I've personally seen, C corporations definitely get hit with double taxation more than S corporations do. You just gotta know how to play the game. Double taxation is when you're hit on the corporate level and on the personal level with the same money. It can also hit you on an international trade or investment level too. So don't think just because you're in another country making money that the IRS ain't looking for your ass. Think about it like this. Corporations pay taxes just like people pay taxes. Your business is a separate person. When a business pays shareholders, it incurs income tax liabilities. So even though that cash was already taxed at the business level, it now has to get taxed at the personal level because a person is receiving that cash and spending that cash. Companies hate double taxation. Nothing would piss me off more than having to pay twice for the same amount of money. Think about big businesses. If double taxation wasn't a thing, wealthy stockholders could potentially avoid paying any income tax, which makes it harder for the people below their level. So through all that, if you didn't catch the difference between an S-Corp and a C-Corp, here it is. As a C-Corporation, you have to pay tax on the money that you receive as a business, and then you have to pay tax on the money that you paid yourself with, double taxation. An S-Corporation really doesn't pay taxes. It trickles off into the shareholders, the other owners of the company, and those people report the income as personal income. Now, if you're trying to get deeper into the tax game and want to know all this other information about taxes, C-Corp and S-Corp, and which one you should go to, depending on your company, don't ask your boy. Gotta find a professional for that. I just wanted to sprinkle a little knowledge on you the raw word style. Kablau, kablank. This was Business Talk with Raw Words with Levi. Like, share, follow, subscribe, all that. And I'll be right back with another one, all right?